Hello people, today we're gonna tie one of the best nymphs in the world, the classic hair's ear. I tie this in size 12 and 14, mostly this is a size 12 with a 3.5 millimeter brass bead in the color black. You can use gold or copper or silver, that's the free of choice. I go with a thread in the back and then I also always use a complete hair mask because you get so much different hair in different colors, light or dark and uh, um, longer and, and shorter ones. And on the sides you find longer ones here and then you can find short hair on the, on the ears uh, which is nice depending what, what you will use it for. But for the tail I always cut a little bit longer hair to use as the tail. And then you want to rib this fly in, in two ways or uh, because of two ways. Um, to get a little effect and also to keep the fly a little bit more durable. And now for the body I want the, a little bit shorter hair so that I can find either on the ears or uh, uh, on the face of the, of the um, either on the ears or on the face of this one. But I mix it up a little bit so I take some longer hair and then also some shorter hair from from the ears. Like that and then you just rib the back body with your wire cut it off a lot of people they use um, pheasant tail cock pheasant but I prefer to use some tin skin which is a sort of latex material on a sheet and then you can just cut it in which size and length you want it so I use this as a wing case for the fly, of course. And now for the thorax you want slightly longer hair and that you can find on the sides of this hair mask. And I like to mix it up with some darker and also some lighter like that and then I just fold this over I will actually brush the fly already a little bit this is a really nice brush from Rensetti and then I just fold this over tie it in this off and then yet again I take some hairs just to make a build over this last part like that and then you can just whip finish the fly and if you're not happy with their bugginess you just use your dubbing brush to make it slightly more buggy. So there you go, best best nymph in the world.